everyone. Welcome to another episode of WTF. I'm Will. I'm Trevor. And today we're kind of bringing you something a little bit different. We're this just, is like a sleeper hit. Yeah. It's like your sleeper norm, pick for the week. Totally. We normally do review, uh, reviews on a movie or a TV show, but today we want to talk to you about this little sleeper hit called The Perfect Bid. The contestant who knew too much. It's uh, about the pr contestant on The Price is Right. Yeah. So if you ever watched The Price is Right when you were younger, or I think actually it's, it's still, still on. on. Yeah. But uh, I, used, I remember you used to watch it's The Price great. is Right when I was younger thinking it was pretty cool. Bob Barker. Yeah. yeah. But it's basically... The gorgeous ladies. Yeah. Basically, it's a movie about this guy who studied the prices of all of the items. Yep. And he actually was on the show like 37 Seven times, times or yeah. something like that. And he actually got on the show once. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a mathematician by trade, and he made spreadsheets over years calculating the in, you know prices of each object, each what each car or thing had any upgrades, blah blah, and just had them. He all not only did that; he created his own computer version yeah. of the game, so he so could, he could practice yeah, at home. It was, it was crazy. Yeah, uh, it was kind of interesting because he would. Well, the interesting part was every time he was in the back, he would be calling out exact prices, and to the point where Bob Barker actually took notice and started <laughs> yeah. like. Are you getting help from Ted again? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was spot on probably 98% of the time. Yeah, it was quite amazing. And I, it's funny, look, when they show a lot of the old footage of, like, I don't know, 20 years ago, whatever it was. Out of the 80s. I, I, was 80s. I, 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 I think I Early remember 90s. seeing some of those episodes, to be honest. And it's kind of funny because this guy, when he first got went to the show, it, it's like behind the scenes almost as well. It shows how like you wait in line to try to get onto the prices right. He talks about how getting uh, getting inside and realizing how small the, the set is, uh, how people talk beforehand when they're they're discussing whether or not if like he he'd tell people okay well if he he'd make friends with people in line he'd be like okay if you guys get up there look to me because I know what most of the prices are type yeah. thing. And um, sure enough, people did. Like they, for a while, he'd be calling prices, and people were listening. And then some one lady had started listening, and everyone was like, "That was the exact price." And then everyone started listening. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was actually pretty fascinating. Yeah, it was. It was very cool. It was actually directed by a, a guy by the name of C.J. Wallace, yeah. and he actually was born in Vancouver, B.C., which is kind of interesting. I'd never heard of the guy before. No, but, uh, he's he, well, he's uh, he only done short films. He's mostly an ed mainly an editor. An editor, yeah. But this is kind of a pretty old hit, and it actually won an award for uh, best documentary series at the Orlando, Orlando Film, Film Festival, Festival. Yeah, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it also follows along. Uh, it has interviews with Bob Barker, which yep. is really cool. Bob talks about stuff that happened in his. It, that is a man who truly loved his job. Seriously, <laughs> yes, I mean, yeah. no word of sarcasm. He loved his job. He has. Never, he always had smiles. Even now, he's got smiles. Yeah, he's, he's like, a very positive I, human being. He, th he was thankful for every oh, day yeah, that he totally. had. Yeah, he couldn't believe that he had forty years in this business of selling. Yeah. He I think was, it was fifty actually. Fifty years, yeah, yeah, of he loving, of loving it so much. So. And the story also follows along the uh, the producer that was that was there for thirty years. Yeah. I think it was Roger. Uh, sorry, Roger Darkovich or something Darkovich. like that. Oh, Dabowitz. Dab Dabowitz, you know how great we are with names. <laughs> well, me especially. <laughs> So, so basically, what happens in this movie is um, when it shows it shows it shows all the footage, and then it shows when Bob Barker retires, and then Drew Carey takes over. In one of these episodes, there's a gentleman who was conversing with uh, our Theodore. buddy Theodore before he gets yep. up there, and he ends up going to the showcase showdown. Ted was helping out, and he ended up having well a perfect bid. Right, and Drew Carey was working at the time. Yeah, and when the guy gave the perfect bid, Drew Carey it went to commercial. And Drew Carey talks about how he's like they're never going to air this because he thought people were cheating, yeah. like they had to actually stop to figure out what the heck was going on. It was, it was that's the whole controversial side, which which was really cool. I thought. Yeah, totally. They were like the producer pulled Drew Carey was like, um, there's zero dollar difference. Yeah, he, he <laughs> yeah. nailed it to the penny. Yeah, and it, you know it ended up airing, but yeah, they took a 15 minute break in between. Well, 15 minute commercial break. Yeah, and so the controversy behind the whole thing was this guy. Never gave Theodore any credit. He, nope. he said that he had he he and his wife, I guess. Yeah, have been had studying been prices. Studying. And... But if you look, if when you watch the documentary, this was a documentary for Theodore so that he could tell his story. Yes. That's that's what I got out of it, and totally. I'm it's, I'm really happy he did because I thought it was a pretty cool documentary. Yeah, and actually, I honestly would love to see him back on the show. They changed the rules in the what mid two thousands. Yes. Just, even though you've been on once, you're now eligible again if it's been over 10 years. Right. So. Yeah, because once he went on it and he didn't make it to the showcase showdown, he was like, okay, okay, that's my... He goes, I'm done with it, but he still kept practicing yep. or learning. And helping people. Oh, well, the other cool people. thing we forgot to mention was uh, he, he's, he, had, he had a crush on one oh, of the... Right. Oh, one of the... Yes. 
Vanna White type girls. What the hell? Well, the Showcase girls. The Showcase girls. Yeah. What was her name? Do you remember her name? No. No. I want to say Sharon or something, but I could be wrong. No. But Bobby? Billy? Billy? Bobby? Shauna? I don't remember. Trina? So he had, he had a crush on uh, one of the girls, um, and he wore a shirt that said he was there to give her a kiss or get a kiss from her or whatever, and uh, he ended up, it ended up happening on the show. It was, it was, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was awesome. So yeah. how do you want to rate this? Uh... For a while, I mean, it's, it's, for a documentary, I give it a... No, 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 what do you want to rate it on? Oh, rate it on. Yeah. Um... Price is right. Price is right. What, not wheel spins? Showcases? Showcase showdowns? Uh, eh, that's a Tiffany right. lamp. Plinko chips? Plinko, yeah. Plinko chips? Yeah. Bob Barkers. Bob Barkers. How many Bob Barkers do we give it? <laughs> I give it nine Bob Barkers. You give it nine Bob Barkers? Yeah. yeah. It was very enjoyable. It uh, didn't, yeah, a very enjoyable documentary. Yeah, it was, it was really good. I, you know, I'll give it eight Bob Barkers. Yeah, it yeah. was entertaining. It was, it was informative and... It's truly, the guy is a very smart man. Yeah, it's a sleeper hit of the week, so you should go check it out. Thanks again for watching another episode of WTF, WTF, and we will see you next time.